Pelicans fall 125, 114 in the Boston Celtics. Before we get into the show, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This podcast is sponsored <laughs> by the Birdsaw Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Boot Crew Media, located at 918 Poitier Street by the Superdome. Give them a call at 504 523 5413 if you or someone you know has been involved in an accident. Birdsaw Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Boot Crew Media. Also presented by Company Burger, located at 4600 for Red Street, Lido. Chaz and five joining tonight. Five, uh, you know, I'll yeah. start with you. Um, you know, I've, I, early on, I liked the way they were getting JV involved. CJ was in a good rhythm, and then once again, they just kind of go away from him. I understand he was in some foul trouble tonight. Uh, you know, would you see because you mentioned before getting on the stream, I, I was ready to see a run, and you never saw it. Uh, well, the, the the run, I knew the run was going to happen from Boston. Like it, it's you're playing in TD Garden that. They're a really good basketball team. Um, my issue is, you know, can can we play smart? And we didn't. We only turned the ball over nine times. So uh, now, when those nine turnovers happen, were critical points in the game, right? That's why. That's why they, they're, you know, more magnified, right? But you know, I don't think we were terrible, right? We were in the game. We just got to the fourth quarter, and then you know, it unraveled, as I expected. Yeah, I mean, listen, Lito, I'll, I'll go with you and then we'll go with Chaz. I mean, when the Celtics are hitting shots like that, I mean, Tatum and Brown, I mean, Jalen Brown hit some tough shots tonight. I mean, there, there are guys in his face all night. I mean, you just can't – I think AD said on, on the broadcast, I mean, good offense will always be good defense. I mean, you know, holding those two together, I mean, <laughs> that team's really good. Bro, they went to the finals. Yeah. You're talking, I mean, yeah, you're talking, about, you're talking about two premier wings in the NBA – like they they went to the finals. Like I don't I think my expectations might have been a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't. Of course, I'm not happy to see a 20 point loss. But like you you plan against regardless, right? If we were healthy, if we were healthy, you plan you still plan against a team who basically added another piece in in Brogdon, came back and like kind of got better. Like I I'm not really. This is not a loss to me that like, you know you you you. Hold your your you hang your hat on, but let me say this, Justin. You were asking five about JV. This, this team, this team has a. My bad. Oh. I didn't even know he was asking me about JV. I thought he mentioned CJ. My fault. It's okay. Oh, oh, my my bad. It's Maybe funny. I just brought up JV for no reason. All right. <laughs> so listen, listen. This team has a problem. This team has a big man problem. This team does not respect bigs. This team. It was a point tonight where Jason Tatum was guarding Jonas. Jalen Brown was guarding Jonas. Yo, if 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 we're playing basketball, the game is all about matchups. That's what people, that's what the smart people keep telling me. It's about matchups, right? So if you see that matchup and you don't take advantage of the matchup, then what the hell are we doing? All right, you want me to come back and play defense on elite? If I'm JV, you want me to come back and play defense on elite wings in the NBA, but yet. When I have those wings and I can punish them, I'm not getting the ball. And it's not just JV. I'm not capping for Jackson. But there was time tonight where he beat his man on the floor. Nobody even looked at him. They didn't even look his way. Like, he he literally just sprinting down the court. Nobody even saw him. Chaz, I, I might not be sure about this stat, but I, I think I remember that JV had nine points in the first quarter or maybe five or six shots I could be, I, or four shots. And – he didn't get the he didn't get another shot attempt like midway through the third, late third, early fourth. Um, I just don't understand why they went away from that. I, I know CJ well, was cooking and things like that, but they just went away from getting the ball in the paint and playing off. Sometimes of you got to step away from the stove, man. Yeah, I think um, you know it's. I thought that tonight was another um, another poorly coached game in the books. Uh, book filling up. About to open up a. <laughs> You know, it's, it's a hell of a book. It's like an Oxford Dictionary. It was. It was just. I don't even know where to start. But look, <laughs> the majority of the night, you had Grant and Jason Tatum guarding Jonas Valanciunas. Right? He was. He was being effective. He was passing effectively. Yeah. And it, it just went away from it. Now that's not even the bad part, right? Not even the bad part. Them going away from it, let's say you go away from, from for the second, third quarter, right? Let's say you, you kind of forget about it. In the fourth quarter, there were several instances where he had his man pinned. There were there was one play in particular. This this is just, I think it's symbiotic, of 
everything wrong with this this team. I think that's the word. Okay. It's nice. It's nice. CJ has, I'm sorry, Jonas has Grant pinned. It's nothing Grant can do, right? CJ dribble <laughs> drives into the lane, right? Mm-hmm. Brings his man down to mm-hmm. Jonas. Wow, I think it was Trey cuts baseline and brings his man as well. I'm like, what are y'all doing? What's the point of this? Right? Like, what what, what do you think? Like, my thing is, I would like to just step back and say, all right, you can watch this happen. Okay, what were you thinking? Like, forget the result and how it turned out, but what was what was going through your mind? What made you cut there? Or what made you not give him the ball in that situation? Right? It, it's just, it was that. Of course, you, you don't know when to call a timeout. There were several instances where they go on like seven point run, eight point run, like call a timeout, coach. Call a timeout, coach. Of course, the yeah. timeout never gets called. It's just <laughs> when we lose, it's usually for the same reasons. Uh, um, you know? Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. Uh, presented by Company Burger, located 4600 for Red Street 5. Uh, we, we, we've been talking about Trey Murphy lately. Uh, I thought tonight, though, I saw a little bit different. Trey Murphy. Um, he was attacking the glass. I thought he hit, he hit an early mid range shot. Um, what did you see from him? I mean, he got a nice alley oop. Uh, he had another putback dunk. Like, that's the activity I think you want to see from 25. Yeah. I mean, more so than none is the, the correct rotations, right? He got he got in rotation, got in the passing lane, got him a, a fast break, uh, two handed, iffy windmill dunk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, that that's what I want to say. I, I, again, I, I'll keep saying this. I don't care about the shots. Like eventually, he's gonna shoot them. Cool. It's the defense. And like you, you went to UVA to learn how to play defense. You shouldn't be. You should be better. Like I, I'm, I'm not looking at you because you know you, you some scrub. No, I expect you to be better at defense. You're six ten. I expect you to get more rebounds. And until that, we won't stop about it. We won't stop saying it because. I expect Trey Murphy, but I want that same intensity when it's an offensive board or a, like a tip slam. Take yeah. that same intensity to the defensive side because once you do that, everything else opens up for you. Yeah. I mean, three steals and a block tonight. Yeah, go ahead, Leo. I just want to say something about uh, that. I agree. I totally agree with what Five said, but I do want to say something. He didn't do a ton of this, but he had one particular move where it was a midi, he pumped fake, and he, he shot the midi. It was a beautiful shot, bro. And it's, in the first it's always quarter, right? there. It first was in the first quarter. quarter. Yeah. He had an exceptional first quarter. He had a block, a rebound. He hit the midi. He was he was cutting. He was rotating. He had a great quarter. Yeah. I want more of that. I want more. I want yo, like I I know you're a three point threat. I get it. But a midi there. Yeah, it's a there. basketball player. It's just bro. the activity. It's the activity of Trey Murphy of deflections and no, steals and offensive no, rebounds. Man. He gotta get out of that, that motion that he's just a shooter, bro. You exactly. you're not. You yeah, gotta be more. You gotta be more. You gotta be. That's what you they, have yeah. to be more. I, yeah. And I completely agree because I mean, he talks about his length and, and, his, and his athleticism. Well, you have to use that on both end floor. Like, there's no doubt about that. I mean, I, I completely agree with with both of y'all. Uh, Chaz, uh, CJ has been pretty damn good over this stretch. Um, once again tonight, looks like more. <laughs> he's just in flow. <laughs> I love the. Are you seeing a different CJ from a couple weeks ago and a month ago? Obviously, but what are you seeing different in his game? No, <laughs> <laughs> I say that because again, you can't. This is insane. Here's the, here's the thing, this is bro. insane, Chad. If y'all know me, I'm on. big on context, right? <sighs> I don't care what CJ does because he's not going to be in this position. This team with CJ as the number one option is going nowhere. They're going to hell. They ain't going nowhere. So CJ could go. CJ just go 50 points every night. I was like, that's incredible, CJ. Good. But I know what a team led by CJ looks like. That team ain't going nowhere. So I don't I don't care. That's like whatever. But nah, dog. Nah, dog. I can't let you, I can't let you ride out like that, bro. No, no, I'm just saying. No, I'm saying I was gonna let him finish it. I was gonna go. Go ahead. Go <laughs> no, ahead. man. I can't let him do it, bro. <laughs> no, okay. Listen, oh, go, bro. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This man deserves to be in the all-star game. He's keeping his team afloat, right? They're, they've won games because of him. Right, he's probably been the most consistent star that you've had on this team. I get it, Chaz, and I've been a, I've been a critical of CJ as well. But dog, I think you go a little far. I think you go a little far when it comes to this man. Like, nah, he let, really hooping. Let me say this, bro. No, I think he no, made CJ, 59 CJ had a great night in a month or something like that. 
No, his, his last his last two nights are great, right? But let's say this. All right, the games we played without Zion, we we beat the Mavs and we beat the I think we beat the, what the Pacers and we beat the Rockets, right? Right. And, and the Wizards. I think I think that's those four the games. Yeah. Right. We've lost all the other games <laughs> without without those two. So I'm like. I, I don't. It's like okay. It's the same. It's the same approach I take with the young guys, right? Or the role players. When people say, "Well, you know, you can't judge them too harshly because they're not going to be in this role," I'm like, "No, they are going to be in this role because your starters are never going to play." I mean, because Zion and Brandon, they're not going to be available like that. So you need. They got to be. It's, they got to be good. Like they can't just be some decent role players. They have to be good. Like because you know those two guys aren't going to play. With CJ, I'm like, yo, I think it's I think it's cool that he does that. That's that's great. That's what's up. But it's like Bradley Bill doing it to me. It's like, okay, that's cool, but can you be a good third option when you need to be a third option? And that's what I care about. Like go ahead, five. Get in there. And I and I just think who uh Sorry. I just think, <laughs> I, just think uh, I think he's proven that he can, man. I think when he was sick, you know what I'm saying? Like when he when he could have been a third option, I think that that was one he he came in probably a little out of shape, right? And then I, he's finally gotten his legs under him. Then he got sick, and then Brandon was out, and I, then Zion was in and out, and, and he's always had to be flexible. Even in that first stint when Zion and Brandon was out, right? He kind of carried the team into a sort of a win streak, and then Zion came back and they extended said win streak. Have they beaten teams that they were supposed to beat with just CJ? Yes, yes, they yeah. have. Right, they haven't lost the teams that they were supposed to lose to with just CJ. I wouldn't that's say right. so. I wouldn't say that's, so. Is it, that's what I'm saying. So I, I don't. I think he's been very, very beneficial for this team. I think he's been the most consistent star we've had. Just you know, just playing right. You know, being available for games. Right. So you got to yeah. kind of give him credit for it until and, mm-hmm. and I understand what you're saying. Judging him in the third, you know, in that right. third player. I, Role, well, god damn it, I, w- I would like to see you know 10 games in a row from them three together so we can we can judge them correctly. Yeah, but I, I think I can't, they, I mean, they, I'm sorry, Man. I'm just saying, I can't judge them yet, you know, it, into that role. I can't, yeah, do it that's yet. why I'm kind of just like, but that's so, why you're upset. So, and yeah, it's a 10 game sample size. Well, hey, so but far. hold on, look, 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 I feel you, but we can't blame CJ for they bad health. Oh, nah, you know what I'm saying? Can't, like nah, you can't. You kind. You nah. kind of just gotta look, 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 look. This is the thing about him, bro. In the last, I think. Hold on. I just put. I just saw a stat. In the in his last five games, the man is averaging thirty. He's averaging five assists, and he's shooting fifty-one percent from three. <laughs> like, I Chad, feel what you you're saying. Little, I, yeah. I feel what you're saying. I do feel what you're saying. But like, I think. I think in the five point, I feel like you kind of like. You kind of got to – yeah, like we beat the teams we were supposed to beat. And and I think if, if he wouldn't – put for, all right, so let me ask you this. If we would have lost to those teams, mm-hmm. right, then I, – I, I wouldn't – if, if we would have lost to those teams, I, I'll say this. I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have blamed CJ. My issue with CJ has always been mm-hmm. deferring to Brandon and Zion and maximizing them. When they're not on the court – I don't care. Like, do whatever you want, CJ. Like, have it. That's why I always think CJ would be a great six man. But he, I, me judging him, his individual performance, cool. You know, he's been good. But I don't take anything from it from a team standpoint because a team with CJ as the number one option isn't going anywhere, in my opinion. So it's kind of like you know. This is my my last rebuttal. I I like to look at the Minnesota Timberwolves <laughs> games in in a game where he deferred to Zion a, a mm-hmm. ton at the yeah. end and still yeah, and still played well. Yeah. Still played well and hit for, and had 40, 42 with eleven threes. Like I, he's not gonna hit eleven threes every game. Of course mm-hmm. not. I don't I don't expect that. But but in, in a very small sample size, I can see him getting off the ball and him understanding like, hey, it's time to give him the ball, yeah. let him rock, and then we play off. So. I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, he but I mean, you can't. Y'all, I mean, yeah, he, he quali- he's having he, a I really good year. He, I just, yeah. I mean, he's having a no, great no, no, year. No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. Uh, that's he, all I was gonna say. I know. Me and you are going at it right now. Uh, I was, he's having a great year, Chaz, and, and I get your point. I think 
you're not ready to give him credit yet because you haven't seen the whole thing. No, the it's not about giving him credit. Hold up, hold yeah. up, hold up. It's, it's <laughs> not that you have to admit he's playing at an all star level. I mean, Lito just rattled off the stats. I, mean, um, I don't know what else, what else more you need him to do. You jazz. How do you only, be, this is no, crazy. here's this the thing. Crazy. Here's what people keep ignoring, bro. He would have to be playing better than Luca, um, Steph, Fox, Shea. Like he's not playing better than those guys. So we keep saying all star level. Who's voting? If we're voting, we're gonna choose him. But if, if the rest of the world's voting, they're gonna choose Luca, Shea, Fox, maybe no, nah, not the one where he been trash. Luca, Shea, Fox, maybe Paul George. Like I can't oh, say no. these things. I gotta take this everything is, in context. Whew. I'm talking about you know, like the popular is, vote. You know how people yeah. gonna always go with the names. This is, this is like, crazy. Well, I'm just I, keeping it. Uh, Presented to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of Boot Crew Media. Um, all right, five. So let's wrap it up here. But you know, we talk about you know taking care of business, right? With CJ McCollum and winning games that you have to win. Uh, well, Fridays you have to win. You're at Detroit, and then you're in Cleveland um, on Monday. I mean, that's a big listen in this stretch without Zion, Brandon. Who knows when he's coming back? That that's a big game. Um, especially against Detroit, and I don't want. You know, Cleveland's playing really well. It's a really good team. You're bringing up bad right now. Ah, damn. <laughs> Y'all can't hear me? I can hear no, you. No, not you. I'm talking about Justin. Oh. oh. I'm talking about Justin. <laughs> oh. Oh, you been... All right, shoot. All right, but game against Detroit on Friday. I don't want people to skip over that one and, and go straight to Cleveland. Nah, I think you need to handle business as, as you see fit in, in Detroit. They're down. They're not trying to win. So don't, you know. Kind of get out in front of them early. Don't let those young boys kind of, uh, you know, stick with you just like a, you know, Houston Rockets game, right? Don't let them stick around because they got players too, right? They got NBA players and they can get high there in Detroit and they're going to be on the, the, the fans are going to be on the sideline with their ice on uh, and they, and they ice cam. So be, you know, be weary of that. Be weary of that team. Probably going to fight for something if they, if it's close. And then against Cleveland, just, I kind of consider it just like Boston in, in a sense. Yeah. Like that's a really good team. Can you can you execute? Can you take care of the ball? And then just like you know, a Detroit, can you stay in the game and then late in the game, kind of steal one? Right. This is where Willie Green is probably gonna have to, you know, put on you know his coaching hat and say, Let me win the game for my team. How can I steal a win on the road against a really good Cleveland team? Can I do that? That's that's where you know no it's that's a great point five. Uh yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say, man, it's gonna be <laughs> that Cleveland game. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough game, man. Like, you know, hopefully Herb is back. Um yeah. I mean, oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, let me say this. Let me just let me just say this. I have a point that I want to make. I understand that <laughs> you know, Dyson Daniels' the shot has been off. I get it. I understand he's a rookie. I, I get all of that, man. But but bro, I I would just like I would like Dyson Daniels to like just look at the room. Maybe like maybe like wink at it. Flirt flirt with it. You know what I'm saying? Like say some words to it. Maybe you know, I think it might talk back to you. Like I, I feel like if you, you know what I'm saying, if you ask it his name, I think I think like it it will go with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be 6'6", six, 6'8", six, six, whatever he is, bro. Get in the lane and then just kick it out every time. It was so many drives tonight where he could have just attempted a floater. Uh, 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 he could have euroed. He could have he could have, he could have got the contact, pump, got a layup. He kicking it back out, bro. Just ask it on a date. I'm telling you, like, it, it'll go. It's a goer. I seen it. Yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. Chaz, you must love that. You must love no, that. I, that sound like somebody stinks, bro. Dyson Daniels stinks, bro. Dyson Daniels is probably one of the worst picks in recent history. And no, yo, I'm gonna say this. I, I'm gonna say this. I, I, I'm gonna say this, bro. Did I do Dyson that? Daniels? Did I do that? Shit. No, yo, I'm gonna say I watched Dyson Daniels closely again tonight, bro. Dyson Daniels had no business being the eighth pick in any draft. You can get a Dyson Daniels for I mean, like any league in the country. You can go oh, in the world. You can go get Dyson Daniels in the second round somewhere. I don't know what went into this evaluation. This man can't jump. This man can't shoot free throws. 
he's not he's a okay he's a cool defender he's not good enough I, how bad he i saw this man again one on one huh you got, you got a little quick he freezing i don't know what's going to the internet crazy tonight i saw this man again one on one attack the rim couldn't make a live i said bro <laughs> what what do you how is this possible what did he when, when we when we did the draft workouts? What did we have him do? Did he like just run drills? Like what? Did, what did he do? Ch- that that's that's wild, Chance. I'm fine. No, bro, and, and dude talking all this bullshit. Like, it, oh, sorry, damn, dude talking all this <laughs> BS talking about. Look, we free. Oh, I'll, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'll cut this part out myself. Dude's talking all this this crazy talk talking about. Oh. You're gonna learn more than what you saw from Dyson Daniels in one game. Yeah, because in that one game, I gave him the benefit of doubt. Now he definitely sucks. He just he's he's awful. He's terrible, man. He's terrible. Chaz, that, that dude that's in crazy. Alabama, bro. That's crazy. He's terrible. That's insane. Five. You can five close us out. We're, we're All right, this is this tangent. is this is my plea, man. This is my plea. Uh as as uh attorney uh Lito presented y'all with some facts about uh Sir CJ McCullum. Get this man to the All-Star game. Get him to the All-Star game. You know, uh, he's had some really great performances. Uh, this team is still third in the Western Conference without two perennial All-Stars themselves. Uh, winning games that you're supposed to win, that's what good teams do. Um, he's upward in assists this year. High, it's probably his highest assist totals of his career. Um, still averaging over 20 points, um, shooting over 50% in the last, you know, I say 10 games from three. Uh, I mean, what what else is he going to do, man? I mean, uh, I mean, I know I get it. Shea Gilgis, I, Shea Gilgis Alexander, I will not mess that up again. <laughs> Shea Gilgis Alexander is having an amazing year. But look at the OKC Thunder. I, I mean, I get it. It's easy to ball out when your team ain't trying to win. You know what I'm saying? You can get your numbers at any any point in time. But, you know, CJ is making consistent buckets, making them dance. Um, Lead the team get this man assist. to the All-Star game. Get him, get him to Utah because ain't nothing ain't nothing jazzy about Utah. Yeah. Man, I didn't go get ahead, that go, go ahead and have the terrible time of your life in Utah, CJ, but we got to get you there, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this, time, this time win the three-point contest. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, he was last year. Yep. I mean, he he do deserve at least one in his career, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, at least, yeah, give him at least yeah. one. Yeah, this this got to be it, this, man. This this got to be it, and we should push it. Let's push it then. Well, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports brand partner of Boot Crew Media, and the NBA, and presented by Company Burger, located forty six hundred for Red Street, Lido Five, Chaz Pelicans fall one fourteen one twenty five. The Celtics. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We will see y'all on Friday. Go, go.